Hello everyone, in this video we will solve for x in this nice exponential equation then after that I will show you how the graph of this function looks like. But before we begin you know the deal already, pause the video and try it first and if you are new here consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. So we have 3 to the power x is equal to 5 to the power x. Now let's go ahead and then divide each side of this equation by 5 to the power x. So that this whole thing will cancel this. Now we have the right hand side to be 1. Then the left hand side to be 3 to the power x over 5 to the power x. Now if I have a to the power b over c to the power b. Then I can write this as a over c or to the power b. Okay. Now considering the left hand side of this equation. I can write this as 3 over 5 or to the power x is equal to 1. Okay, now considering this nice equation, how can we find x from this? Well, using indices, I'm going to keep the left hand side. So we have 3 over 5 or to the power x is equal to, now I'll write this one as 3 over 5 or to the power 0. Okay, now if you look at this equation, you can see we have the same base. So I'm going to equate the exponent. So we have x to be equal to 0. And this is our final answer. We have 5 to the power x is equal to 3 to the power x. Now I'm going to let y1 equals 5 to the power x and then y2 equals 3 to the power x. Now if you plot these two equations on the same graph, we have this, okay? And this line over here is y1 equals 5 to the power x and then this line is y2 equals 3 to the power x. And you can see they intersect at the point 0, 1. Okay, so if I click on this graph, you can see it here. You can see the point of intersection is 0 and then 1. So it means that this equation has only one solution, okay, which is x is equal to 0. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.